Dr. Francois, I mean, there are many who are saying that, frankly, the Biden administration should have acted sooner and faster, that hundreds of billions of dollars uh, has been put at risk because the Houthis have held uh, this area in the Red Sea um, at ransom. Sorry, so just let me get this straight, Yelda. So we are bombing the poorest, one of the poorest countries in the world that has been under a humanitarian <laughs> blockade. There has been famine. These people have been decimated. And we are bombing them because a couple of guys in dinghies in support for the Palestinians who are having a genocide committed against them. They're objecting to that and we're bombing them. Come on now. I mean, well, this it, is I, just an insane world for us to even think. I'm so sorry your Amazon packages are delayed. I really am. Like, I wish mine came on time. But, you know, genocide, guys, genocide. There are two mothers a day dying in Gaza right now. It's 109 days into a conflict in which a humanitarian crisis has been declared to the world day by in, the way, day out. By